guys welcome to gone to series in the earlier tutorial we had a look at bean scope now in this tutorial we're gonna see two important concepts related to spring that is lazy loading and preloading of a bean this is what we saw in the earlier tutorial that is in the bean scope tutorial if we define bean scope as single turn spring will create only one instance of the bean and provide the same instance each time the bean is requested in the test class or anywhere in the spring project and when you define its scope as prototype spring provides new instance of a bean every time it is requested using the get bean method in the test class or anywhere in the spring project now there is a concept called lazy loading of a bean or preloading of a bean so these terms are about how spring loads or instantiate singleton beans. You can instruct spring to instantiate all singleton beans at the application startup time. And application context does it by default. So what it means is, if you look at our test class, we are using here application context to read spring configuration file and to use all features of spring framework. If you're using application context interface the way I've used here, then by default spring loads or instantiates all singleton beans mentioned in the springs configuration file at the application startup time. That is at this first step only while reading through the springs configuration file. This means when you actually request for a bean using get bean method, it will get you the bean which it already created at the first step. So this is like preloading of beans where you force spring to load all singleton beans before you actually use them further in your application using get bean method. So this is the default way if you are using application context interface for accessing spring framework. If you want you can change this springs default behavior. What you can do is you can instruct spring framework not to instantiate any singleton bean at the application startup such that it will only instantiate a singleton bean when you actually request for it using a get bean method. You can do it with the help of a lazy int attribute. So for a bean you can mention here lazy int attribute with a value true. So if you do this then spring will load such a bean having bean scope as singleton and lazy in property as true only at the time it sees get bean for such a bean. So this is like lazy loading of a bean where you actually force spring not to load or instantiate any bean at the application startup that is while reading to spring's configuration file and force it to load a particular bean only at the time it is requested using get bean method. Okay. Now there is one more interface which you may use to access spring framework the way we have used here application context and that is a bean factory interface. If you're using such an interface then spring would always perform lazy loading. That is there is no option of preloading of a bean in case of a bean factory. This is one of the major differences between application context and a bean factory in the way how they load or instantiate a singleton bean. There are certain more differences between the two which we're gonna look at in our upcoming tutorials. So there are a number of reasons why you'd want to have lazy loading or preloading of beans in your application. Maybe for some kind of memory management or performance issues or for some other purposes. But you have an option to choose any one of these if you're using an application context. In the next tutorial, we will understand the lifecycle methods of a bean. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.